I'm Holly from The Twinkle and today I'm going to show you how to print, edit, make and use bunting. Bunting makes a lovely addition to a display, whether it's to support learning like phonic sounds and times tables or just to jazz up your classroom or learning environment like this balloon bunting. The Twinkle website has thousands of different display bunting for you to download and print. So let's take a look at how to do just that. Simply choose the bunting you want to download and click the more downloads button and choose a version you wish to use. Here you can see the options are standard, editable, cursive, black and white, super eco colour or a blank version, although each resource is different. When you download the resource, you have a choice of saving or opening as a Word document. For example, here is the editable version of the different languages Hello Bunting, where you could choose which languages to print. Here is a standard version, which downloads as a PDF and you can see clearly the word fold telling you where to fold once printed. When it comes to printing, the default setting is to print each page on A4 paper. However, you can change the layout to two pages per sheet if you'd like the bunting to be slightly smaller. Or again, even smaller. Here we can see on different software how you can print on A5 to have smaller bunting again or choosing pages per sheet on A4 paper. This bunting version comes with a do not print me page to avoid wasting paper. You can do this by selecting which pages you wish to print from and to. By starting at page two and ending on the final page. Again, on different software, you can completely customize your printing to specific page ranges and of course, avoiding the thanks for not printing this page page. Finally, the downloadable super eco color version looks like this and you can see how it will save you some colour ink compared to the standard version. Once printed, it's time to cut and make your bunting. Here you can see I printed two to a page for the smaller size. When all pieces are cut, it's time to get making. Simply fold over the flap and get your string to the required length. There are a few options for how to hang your bunting. One is to put your string up first and simply drape over the folded bunting over the string like this. This is an easy option and works well if you know there won't be a window with a breeze. Option two, before hanging your string, use a stapler to hold your bunting on the string. This is a long lasting option, however you can see the staples. Option three, using tape, fold over the string and tape the flap down. Finally, option four, using glue, glue the flap over the string and push down. And there you have it, bunting. I hope you enjoyed my video on bunting. Now, go get decorating.